Hello all and welcome to another video on our pay to win series. This is the series where I play a free to play game and see if it's pay to win. So today it is Evolve. If you don't know, Evolve is undergoing a major transformation and is now free to play. Um, you can play the game, no cost, free, the whole game is there, it's available, you can do whatever you want, you know, it's, it's Evolve but with no price tag surprisingly. Um, and as you know, it's undergone a lot of controversial um, feedback saying that the game isn't very good and that you have to buy stuff and blah 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 and there's so much DLC with it that it makes you throw up and a lot of people criticise the game pretty harshly, don't they? And they've said, look, we hear you loud and clear, this is the game now, it's free, there you go, have fun. And you may be wondering, well, they must have some sort of monetization model, right? I mean, no. They don't. Um, this comes directly from the forums themselves, actually. I was researching this to try and figure out if this would be a good game to do a uh, gameplay of this. And here it is from the forum, a person called Little Trash Panda. What can I unlock with the silver keys? Now, silver keys is the currency that the game uses. You use this to unlock perks, characters, monsters, and skins, and whatever else, and cosmetic items, and blah blah blah. Everyone understands how um, in game currencies work, it's the, pretty much the same in this. Um, can I purchase silver keys with free money? No, you cannot. Um, currently, Evolve has no way of making the developers money, other than well, I suppose you played the game, and if they showed some sort of advert, maybe that. But no, currently, Evolve is not a pay-to-win game, at least not from what I'm seeing. And I know this is a pretty odd thing to do. I mean, this video's gonna be incredibly short, but. This is good. I mean, it's not good in the sense that developers aren't making money, but if the developers did this from the start, they'd charge you 40 quid for the game, people would, people would buy this and people would love it. But due to the fact that they got, in my opinion, they got greedy, they put out DLC, and in general made everyone hate the game, that's how it is now. Um, and in my opinion, they've probably lost a lot of money due to that. So, Evolve as a pay to win? No. I'm going to go through the options here and. Um, show you what you can buy and um, if in the future you can buy silver keys this is what they can buy. So this is Evolve and um, you'll notice everything's changed quite a bit. Uh, it now says Evolve Stage 2 profiles over here. Um, I'm level 2 apparently. I thought I was level 3 but I'm, I'm level 2 nonetheless. Uh, I have These are my silver keys. I have 2066 silver keys. Um, you have challenges where you can get more keys, 150 if I do this. So that's pretty nice. And a crate. I can get a crate if I win this. Not sure what comes in the crates, but I'm going to be focusing most on the silver keys in, in this episode. So, let's go to the store. Let's see what we can do. So, you can buy um, characters, so new characters, like with new abilities, new weapons, and whatever else. Monster skins, so different looking monsters, pretty much. Uh, hunter skins, so again, cosmetic items. Makes you look like a boss, I suppose. I quite like this one, actually. And uh, this guy. And weapon skins, so different looking weapons. All very nice, blah blah blah. As you know, cosmetic items come from microtransactions. They all look pretty nice actually, they do look worth it. Now, my only issue with this game is if they do put this game in as um, pay to win, etc., because I fully believe that if you can buy the characters with different abilities and um, different things that can come off from different abilities, different weapons, blah blah blah. That, in my opinion, is pay to win because those characters could be balanced differently from the other ones, and in general, you can't really balance something perfectly. And that's why it's best just to give it to everyone, and then the only complaints you're dealing with is balance issues. Even though those people could actually go to those characters themselves, if you if you get what I mean in that sort of standpoint, it's better to have an overpowered character that everyone can go than an overpowered character that only some people can buy. And with this system, it seems okay. In my matchmaking, I was matched with people that well, the same level as me, so we would all have the same characters, abilities, and stuff like that. Um, except from a couple of guys, they had different um, characters and had golden icons and well, golden names and that sort of stuff. Um, I'm assuming those were the founder people, which is fine. I mean, you should get stuff for buying the game at launch. I mean, that's fair enough. But ignoring all that, ignoring all that. Um, so far, the system's okay. I'm not getting matched with people that have OP characters, and I've played 
if I was getting a match with people that are level 30, for, for example, right, let's just say a base level of level 30, and those people had X amount of silver keys, since those guys have been playing the game longer, they're always going to be better than me, they're going to have better weapons, they're going to have better things, and that would create a a bad sort of matchmaking experience. But since the matchmaking has been good, I have no complaints towards um, buying characters with silver keys at the moment. It's yet to be seen how they're going to monetize this game because this won't be the game forever. You cannot have a business model where you're making zero money and you have servers up which drain money. That doesn't. That isn't a business model that works. Um, that's why I'm sort of against Discord if people don't know that. Um, so all in all, it ain't all that bad. I've, if you haven't played Evolve since the game came out, I feel I do recommend it. It made me play the game and I actually do like it. The only thing I don't like is the base medic when I fire medic grenades. That is a pain in the ass. I would rather have a healing beam, like what I seen when I was doing the tutorials. That seems a lot better to me. Um, the whole healing bomb thing doesn't look good. You can miss shots, it's inaccurate. Um, you have to judge where the cactus are pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion on Evolve. Is it pay to win? No. Will it be pay to win in the future? Probably. You can't have a business model where you make no money. So that's my closing thoughts on it. I really do suggest that you play the game. Um, it does look pretty good. And there's challenges, there's crates, there's silver keys. It's all good just now. We'll soon see what happens in the future. I will give you an, an update in the future if this does transpire into something that is pay to win. Uh, so keep subscribed for that. Like this video if you like this sort of content. Dislike it if you thought this was a waste of a video. I wanted to do this on Evolve to show how microtransactions and um, how you can fix a game. Like they have fixed the game. It's a lot better than it was before. And I feel as if they did a good job. I, I will definitely give them that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.